What's up, YouTube? I hope everybody's doing well. Um, just wanted to share for just a minute, uh, really quick. I got these Kodiak stainless steel brakes, this full stainless steel kit. Um, I'm upgrading when I originally bought the trailer. I upgraded the axles knot probably two years ago this time, uh, coming up on two years. And I had the old brakes. They weren't working. The lines were pinched because they were running correctly. It's just a disaster. I've been rolling around with no trailer brakes. Not good. Okay, just don't do that. It's not a good idea. I, I can explain why, just don't go there. Fast forward though. I'm looking for these brakes and I go on eBay and I find a guy. Um, and interesting enough, I didn't know at the time when I bought them, um, the guy advertised them as new, shipped them here, I inspected everything. Uh, at a quick glance, I really didn't think about it, but um, the reason why I was able to get them so cheap, I ended up getting each with shipping for about three. Forty-three fifty, I think, is what I paid. I'll have to go back and check the receipt. So about seven hundred dollars, about half, less than half. Okay, and here's why I believe. All right, you can look at all the videos, and I, 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 I'll film another video talking about this in a minute on how to actually do it. But I think a lot of people who ever try to install this beat the living crap. This is a brand new ceramic was brand new ceramic brake. Guy gave me another pad because someone really beat the mess out of this thing. You can tell. They were hammer, hammer, hammer away. And what they couldn't do is if you look down here, that's almost their 90 degree angle. So that one's correct. And they, I guess they just couldn't figure out how to bend these right. So I'll show you in another video how to actually do it. But I just want to say this. Um, I've been kind of waiting to save up the money. I, I'm, I'm a thrifty kind of guy. I try to save any, any money where I can. I, I believe in paying for things as well. Um, but you can see that this pad... <laughs> The manufacturer date was from 2 uh, uh, of 17, and they threw an extra new set in here, and you can see the stamp on them. So somebody did this and probably sat on them for a while. They looked like the box was, the, the boxes look really old. They were from Kodiak. You know, you could tell the rotors hadn't been used. I've got fingerprints all over them, but my point is this. I think, in my opinion, I, I think you can get a hold of these brakes because there's nobody out there talking. I've looked, I've searched. Nobody talks about how to bend these things down. And you look at that metal and you're like, okay, well, that's an eighth of an inch. It's a little tab that comes down. Here's the, here's the real tr the catch, okay? You've got to get this thing flush with the outside of the rotor, this little notch. And only way to do that is to get that thing bent at 90 degrees. And you can use heat to do it. That's the key. That's the end of the story. You don't have to beat the snot out of it with a hammer. And you're sure as crap not going to get it with a pair of channel locks, as they say. So the point of all this is not just to kind of toot my own horn and say, great guys, look what I did. Um, maybe I can return the favor. This is the second one of these I did. Um, I thought Dacromat, I'm pronouncing that correctly, maybe. Maybe I'm not. Um, somebody put those, that, those, uh, that system on here and I, I could, sh I have it in the, in the shop. I can show you it's, gar I mean, it's garbage for soaking it in salt water. I am sure if you drive down the highway, that's no problem. For this application, is a terrible idea. Um, so I really think that this is the way to go. This is not what came on my trailer. But again, I've slowly rebuilt this thing. I think I'm actually going to end up getting rid of this trailer. I have, from the ground up, more or less rebuilt this thing. It's really, really solid. Um, I've got a little more work to do on the tongue. I'm going to replace all that. And I think I'm going to sell it. I've got the boat in, in dry storage right now. And I just want to show you. There's the new, there's the new axle that I put on in 2017. Um, but there's the, there's the backside of these. I have not plugged the brake lines in. I forgot to order them to be honest with you. And, uh, that's really it. So I just literally put those tires on five minutes ago. I have it sitting off the ground still because, and, and listen, this is important. There's no contact. Okay. If you don't bend those tabs down correctly, those those front pads are gonna not sit correctly here's what i have to do i have to replace this tongue do all this other stuff um th this this whole system is I'm, I'm just not a fan of it that thing jolts i feel like it's gonna rip my transmission out so i'll save that for a future video i just want to pass on um two things i think if you're patient and methodical about things i've had this on my list i, I got this boat in March of 2015. This is November of 2019. So you're, we're coming up on like five years of ownership. And this trailer has yet to be right. But I've had to fix so many things in the boat that weren't correct. Um, 
it takes money and time to do it. And the only way I felt like I could do it was to do it myself. So in addition to all the other stuff that I do, my business, everything else, um, it's just really difficult to do. So I wanted to pass that on in, in hopes, you know, one person obviously got spent and lost half their money because they couldn't figure out how to put that on right. I really believe that's the case. And like I said, the seller on eBay told me they were new. It's not really 100% accurate. So I really don't feel bad. Um, but I have tried to put these on and hammering, I'm going to tell you, if you don't use heat and you don't use a torch, that's just not the way to do it. So uh, anyways, I hope everybody's doing well. I hope you learned something. But uh, my point is, is that you don't have to go out and pay retail for everything on your boat. A lot of stuff that I have bought, a lot. And I'll try to maybe detail a nice list of things that I have bought over the time where people will buy stuff and decide it's not for them. It doesn't fit right. They don't know how to install it. Or maybe they get rid of the boat and they took it off. I've bought a lot of stuff like that and, and really good stuff. And this is definitely one of those. So seven, literally less than $700 with shipping from eBay. So um, anyways, I, I looking for, I'm looking forward to getting on the highway, towing down to Almorada without being fearful, without wearing. I was wearing through on my Sequoia and my LX570. I was literally without trailer brakes. I would drive about a thousand miles and I would burn through stop and go traffic. I would burn through a set of brakes uh, of pads and sometimes rotors. It would get so hot. So this is the solution. It, I should have done it long ago. It was really stupid. So I hope you've learned something. Um, and I'll continue to post stuff like this. Uh, I got, I got tons more stuff to do on the boat, but, uh, I am, I will try to post the link for this trailer. Once I get it up for sale, I, I just want to have a custom one made by maybe a mare trail. This is a magic till here. So Thanks for watching. Subscribe, hit that like button, and thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.